Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another vlog in my series of vlogs about the wedding venues that I do weddings at all over the Western Cape and today it's a beautiful day it's a Tuesday afternoon and I'm on my way to a wonderful venue called Lala Panzi Lodge it's a venue that I've done many weddings at over the years and uh, it's certainly a place that I'm looking forward to going back to today and uh, yeah it's a beautiful day it's the 20th of March 2018 and uh, got an awesome couple Navajni and I've got Shal and it's going to be an absolute pleasure to marry you guys guys enjoy it enjoy everything about the wedding enjoy Lalapanzi it certainly is a fantastic place Solaris Pass Village is a very special place for me because it's where my grandfather was station master many many years ago my dad actually started school in this village so yeah it has got a very special connection with my family and Lalapanzi themselves the the venue is absolutely amazing they give out my details and uh, I really appreciate that so guys you're gonna see the beauty of this place uh, wood log cabin type um, Swiss type affair and uh, the views overlooking uh, Gordon's Bay and uh, the and Falls Bay absolutely amazing so guys, once again, just want to say to you, uh, Navajni and to Shaul, guys, enjoy absolutely everything about the wedding. I'm be I've been looking forward to your wedding, and it's going to be awesome. Guys, enjoy. I'll show you around when I get there. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the beautiful Lalapanzi Lodge here on the sides of the mountain looking down over Gordon's Bay. Um, this is such a truly amazing place. The weather cannot be more perfect. It is actually stunning. There's a little bit of a breeze which is cooling things down a, bit, a little bit which is great. And uh, yeah, I've seen my groom. He's happy. He looks like he's quite comfortable. Uh, in fact, he's over there. and. Uh, I'm going to show you around and show you what this beautiful place looks like. So join me. Oh, by the way, and uh, just want to say to all my couples that I've married here before, nice to see you guys. I hope you're watching. Gemma gives me such great pleasure. You are the special family of these two wonderful people and you have been chosen to be here today to celebrate with them as they make a promise to each other and they step off on this beautiful journey together as husband and wife. Charles, you okay? I'm good. Yeah. You're just staring at her, you're not even looking She's at me. Beautiful. I don't know what's going on here. But you know what, you guys must just relax. I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to really enjoy this moment. You know, this is so special that 
I don't want you to worry about anything. I don't want you to focus on anything. Don't worry about any other thing. Just be present in this moment. And for each one of you that here, I want you to do the same. Just be here to celebrate with this awesome couple. Can I quickly ask this wonderful question? Who gives this bride to be married today? I, Morris. Morris? Yeah, we're all family here. Uh, so we know that you don't have actually have the last say. <laughs> so your, your, your mom will probably say, uh, yes? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Morris. They said I must do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can lift the veil and you can give your daughter a wonderful kiss. <laughs> you can both things. He practiced. Uh, Did he? He's doing well. Sure. And you can give Charles a handshake or that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Morris. Okay, guys, I don't want you to even think about kissing yet. I want you just to stand there, relax, and enjoy. I want to just say this, and I hope you don't mind, Shaul, but Navajni, you look absolutely gorgeous. She does. does. she look gorgeous? Yes. <laughs> hey? I think she looks stunning. Shaul? Good choice. Take your hand out of your pocket. Let's pay <clears> things. <throat> You look stunning as well. Thank you. You actually clean up quite nicely. I'm Thank you. <laughs> is this a wooden tie? Yeah, very nice. Okay. <laughs> Navajna, what do you think? Gorgeous. Gorgeous? I like that. <laughs> Guys, you've chosen a magnificent day. I mean, look at the beauty of this day. Mm. This gorgeous place. Mm. Uh, I mean, you couldn't have asked for better. And I think you truly have been blessed. Not only with the day, but these wonderful people with you. And obviously, God's presence. So it's important that we're going to close eyes for a moment and ask for God's blessing on our coming together. Our God and loving Heavenly Father, what a privilege you've given us that we can come together in the beauty of this place, on the quietness of this wonderful day. Father, with the warmth of the sun and the coolness of the breeze, that we can come together to witness such an incredible event in the lives of these two wonderful people. Father, may they understand that you will help them through their marriage. Father, for each one of us that's here today, we pray that we'll all receive such an amazing memory of this wonderful occasion. And Father, we ask these things, always giving thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Shaul, why are you here? Why are you here? To marry this beautiful lady standing to next to me. To marry this beautiful lady standing next to me. Very good answer. <laughs> Navajni, why are you here? To marry him. <laughs> <laughs> the romance sort of way. <laughs> to marry this beautiful lady. To marry him. <laughs> I, I can understand that. But you know what? You guys are actually here because of the fact that you do want to make a promise to each other. But I want you to understand something. That although today is about signing a piece of paper and making promises to each other. The reality is that you've been making promises to each other and commitments to each other for a long time. Am I right? Yes. I mean, this is not the first time you're finding out that you actually like each other and love each other. You know that. You wouldn't be standing here holding hands today in the presence of God and these wonderful people if it wasn't for the fact that you knew that you could trust the love of the person that's standing next to you. Okay? So I want to read something which I believe is very important. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. He knows the plans. That's incredible. Plans to prosper you and to not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. A future together. I mean, you know, there can't be anything more exciting than to stand in front of a couple when they're about to make that promise to each other and God is going to bless that union for the rest of your lives. Mm. He's given you incredible love for each other. A unique love that only the two of you will ever understand. I want you to understand that for a moment. That you do not have the ability to go to anybody, anywhere, and ask them about your love. Because they don't know. You know, each family member that's here, you can ask, what is the love that we have? And you know what? They're going to say, oh, well, we know that they love each other. We can see it. We can see the way they interact with each other, the way they deal with each other. But what that feeling of love is, you're the only two that know what that feeling is. God gave you a special love that He asked that you would look after. And the day that people become husband and wife, often is the day they forget 
that the friendship is important anymore. In other words, they take on this new title, but the title of bestie is no longer important. It's something we don't focus on. We just go and we say, I'm going to be the best husband I can to you or the best wife that I can to be. And I'm going to take on that role and the responsibility of, I don't want you to do that. I want you to focus on that best friend title. The Bible starts with in the beginning. Our stories start once upon a time. Your love story starts once upon a time. In March, it was March, eh? May. Uh, 16th of the 7th month. July. July. Okay. So you gave me false information? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you did say July. Sorry. You see, that's why you... Yeah, well, look quickly. No, I was just checking if you are awake. Okay. July. Okay, but when that happened, guys, that first beautiful words were written. And guys, you know, everything that's happened to you from that moment to this moment is your story. I'll, I shall... I shall take you, Navashni. Take you, Navashni. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Secure in the knowledge. Secure in the knowledge. That you'll be my constant friend. That you will be my constant friend. My faithful partner in life. My faithful partner in life. And my one true love. And my one true love. On this special day. On this special day. I give to you. I give to you. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. My promise. My promise. To stay by your side. To stay by your side. As your faithful husband. As your faithful husband. As your faithful wife. As your faithful wife. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. As well as through the good times. As well as through the good times. And the bad. And the bad. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Without reservation. Without reservation. I will comfort you. I will comfort you. In times of distress. In times of distress. I will encourage you. I will encourage you. To achieve all your goals. To achieve all your goals. I will laugh and cry with you. I will laugh and cry with you. And grow with you. And grow with you. In mind and in spirit. In mind and in spirit. And I'll always be open. And I'll always be open. And honest with you. And honest with you. And I will cherish you. And I will cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Nolden. Make some noise! Lalapanzi Lodge, the wedding of Charles and Navajni, and that was absolutely amazing. Stunning to be back there. This amazing view that we've got, and uh, this fantastic place that I get to go and do weddings at now and again. And uh, they are definitely a worthwhile exercise if you're looking for a nice, uh, small, intimate place where you can have a small wedding but uh, they've got such beautiful accommodation and uh, service is outstanding as well so guys if you want to contact uh, Ladapanzi Lodge their details I'm going to put on screen now please contact Rose and I'm sure she'll be able to help you in uh, whatever way that you need help Charles Navajni I want to say congratulations guys all the very best for you the rest of your lives together it was an absolute joy and pleasure to be part of your wedding day and uh, thank you very very much for choosing me my name is Troy Goldie marriage officer you're more than welcome to contact me my details are on screen now 
um, and you are more than welcome to contact me and I will be able to help you in any way that I can whether you are from uh, South Africa or anywhere else in the world for that matter I will be more than willing and uh, ready to assist in whatever way I can okay guys so uh, I want to just say thank you again to Lada Panzi, thank you again to this wonderful couple and once again thank you to you guys for joining me on this vlog, uh, this another vlog in the series of vlogs. Guys, live long, live well, live like there's no tomorrow and love unconditionally. Until next time, cheers, bye bye.